Hey guys, welcome back. This is Bernard from the BTN HD. And yes, Apple has released a new operating system today at their WWDC 15 event. And uh, it's codenamed El Capitan. Yes. So I actually push out the operating system, which is version 10.11, with. Um, I actually pushed it out on my MacBook Air, which is the 11 inch mid 2013, which is not that old. It's about two years old. Processor is 1.3 gigahertz with an Intel Core i5 with four gigs of memory. And it has about 120 uh, gigs of solid state drives. And so far with the new operating system, it is running like a champ. I did notice that I received more space with the upgrade. Normally when you increase, actually normally when you upgrade your machine, you kind of lose space from your hard drive. On this operating system, I gain about, uh, I would say, five to six gigs more. So that's pretty cool. So let's, a couple of things that I know is off the bat. One, when you highlight something like, a, let's say I highlight uh, this folder right here. It, it highlights it in a weird way. I never noticed this on Yosemite. So if this is not new, let me know at the comment section. But this to me is a little new. I know another thing that I noticed is if you take your mouse and you wave it like this, like you're waking up, you're waking up your machine. Uh, apparently, your mouse kind of enlarges. Uh, it's not doing it because it looks like because of the recording uh, system or the recording app that I'm doing, it's not capturing that particular uh, mouse movement. So that kind of sucks that I can't show you that. Uh, another thing is Safari. So if we go in Safari right now, if I click on Safari, Safari allows you to create these nice little shortcuts right here, which is pretty cool. Uh, the, that's pretty awesome to me. If uh, another thing I noticed, if you have, I'm gonna lower that down because let's say if you have multiple tabs open within Safari and you have a particular tab that has sound, but you don't know where that sound is coming from, so you're freaking out and saying to yourself, "Where is that sound coming from?" Uh, apparently, they added this nice little audio symbol on the URL address bar. From here, you could click on it and it mutes it, so it won't bother you. Or if you just need to find which tab actually has that sound coming from. If you click on hold that icon, it gives you a nice little sub menu indicating which tab has that sound. You click on it and it takes you directly there. So let's say I'm going to go to my site, which is bjtechnews.org. And let's say I want to create a nice little shortcut on the taskbar. So if you take it and drag it, just take that tab and just drag it to the corner. And there you go. You got this beautiful, nice little tab. So you easy it's beautiful I like that feature a lot now a new thing that I noticed and I love is mission control so mission control depending on what machine you're using uh, for me it is f3 I think it's f3 for all of them and if it, mission control allows you to uh, create multiple virtual desktops okay oh see Windows 10 that's where you got it from you got it from Apple but if you take the window that's active you can actually drag it up there how awesome is that? And create another virtual desktop. Now, this concept has always been on the Linux platform. Windows 10 just stole it. But I think uh, I think Apple just made it even better. Uh, another thing that I noticed is, check this out, guys. If you, if you click on it, it places the app on full screen, which is pretty awesome. But this is also awesome, too. If you take the green button, which is your expand button, which makes it large. Let's click it so I can make it a little smaller. If you click and hold it, what do you have here? You got snap features. Now, okay, snap features was actually introduced, I believe, on the Windows era. Uh, I think Apple took that idea from Windows. I don't know. You you guys are probably gonna argue with me. Leave your comments right below and let me know. But this feature has already been out. I think Windows captured this feature a while back. But uh, I, I like the way that um, Apple has released this. This is pretty cool. So the fact that you're able to do snaps. Uh, it's 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 a pretty cool idea. I like this. Given a lot of horsepower is the Note app. Uh, it's one of these apps that are not hardly used, but is it's when you use it, it's very powerful. Uh, one of the things that they added was let's create a new uh, let's create a new note, right? And within the new note, you are able to let's add. Uh, I want to see. Let's let's do a little snap feature right here. So I, I want to click and hold this green, and I want to snap that there, and I want to have this over here. Oh, there, there you go. I want that snap feature. So I want to take, let's say, I want to take this particular article, and let's drag it and drop it there. B 
beautiful. You see that? I love that. I love the feature that the fact that it takes the link. It gives you the nice little short description and it keeps the image right there. That's an awesome note. Back then, you would never used to do that. The way I used to do it was I used to have to right click on the address bar, copy and paste that into that. And I'm not even within this article. I'm not even within the article as of yet. I just dragged and dropped that link directly to the note. That is awesome. Another thing that I like about the new note is you could create bullets. Awesome. So like I'm going to say, hello, uh, world, welcome. And within the bullets, one of the cool things with the bullets is that you can actually, they're interactive. You can actually check on the bullets. Cool. Uh, what is this feature here? Oh, look at that. This is a feature that allows you to do photos and videos, sketches. It also allows you to do maps and locations, websites. I, this is a website that I took. I can actually drag and drop uh, notes that contain map locations or sketches or photos and videos and I could just drag them and drop them here Which is pretty awesome. I don't really think I have any photos. Do I have a photo? Let's see what happens if I Go inside my let's create a new note and let's say I want to capture this image Oh awesome. So cool. So if I go inside this right here It goes into the photos and video image. So that's pretty cool so you got the little side menu right here. You're able to delete it. What's this button right here? And this button allows you to do what? Oh, this button actually allows you to go directly into your photo app. So you can actually drag and drop stuff within your photo app. So that's pretty cool. This double option right here, nothing too much. So I'm pretty excited with the new uh, Notes app. All right, guys. I still, I'm still playing around with the new operating system, El Capitan. I just, I love that name. Uh, but my two cents with the new operating system, I don't think it's a huge operating system. I think this is Apple's Windows 8.1 version. Okay, guys, you probably disagree with me. Okay, because Windows 8 is equivalent to Yosemite. And then, you know, it looks like App Apple was trying to make things a little better. And that's why they came out with 10.11. Why not come out with Mac OS 11? Why did you stick with the 10 and just put a dot 11? I don't know this, I, but my two cents is this is like Windows 8.1, and I don't know this is little baby improvements. Uh, I did notice a huge performance. Uh, the battery thing, I haven't noticed any battery thing because I know on the Mac Air on the mid 2013s, the the battery really sucked. So I got to keep an eye on that to see if the operating, the new operating system, uh, keeps the battery life up and running a little longer. Uh, but other than that, man, uh, I'm enjoying the new operating system. Hopefully, you guys enjoy the hands-on. If you are playing around with the El Capitan and notice anything else, leave comments right below. Don't forget about hitting that like button because it does support the video as well as this guy. And i catch you guys on the next hands-on. Peace out.